Good morning, friends. Today we have a beautiful piece of scripture from John 15, verses 12 to 15. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. And I have to stop there because what is incredible about this is that Christ did this for us even before we were his friends. What an amazing demonstration of his love. So let's continue with 14. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. Well, hello friends, it's wonderful to be together again. You know, the scripture talks to us about planting seeds of faith in our life. Now, we plant seeds of faith. Somebody planted a seed and I ended up with this. Look at the size of that beautiful strawberry. Then somebody else planted a seed and this is a carrot. Sweet potato. Oh. And a banana. Now, this banana is getting old, but it's still a banana. The question we face is, what are the seeds that you and I get to plant in our lives? It starts out by giving. In Luke 6 and 8, 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given to you. So you plant seeds, up come the tomatoes, up come the carrots, up come whatever. You plant seeds, and you give, and it's given to you. It's in Matthew 17 and 20, it says, if faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing will be impossible. So we put our faith in God and in his hands. Now I put my faith in God and in his hands. And I went through a terrible, terrible time with a heart attack and all that stuff. And the doctor said to me, we see in you four miracles, things that we never see happen. Well, some of you folks were praying for me. And when you planted your seeds of faith, asking God to do something, he performed miracles. And in our lives, we need to put our trust and our faith in God and ask him that it's his will that's done. Somehow God turned me around because it was his will that I still be here today. It's his will that I would do what he wants me to do and speak and touch the needs of people. It's his will. Well, you have to say to yourself, what is God's will for you? What does God want you to do? And when we know that, we then plant seeds of faith. We have to recognize that God is our source. In all this stuff I went through, it was God who was the source. And it tells us in Philippians 4.19, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So I play a prayer. Jesus, help me. Jesus, heal me. Jesus, strengthen me so I would have the strength to be able to do your will and what you want me to do. We recognize God as our source. And then we give God, God. He's the one. And we ask him to give it back to us. And you see that in Luke 6 and 38, where it says, give and it will be given to you. Give myself to God. I say, God, I want to do your will. God, show me what your will is and then empower me to do it. And we give ourselves to God. We give him our love. We give him our time, whatever he has for us to do 
and the time to do it. We gave, give to him our patience. We give to God. We give him our finance. We give him our prayers. How many times I prayed when I was in the hospital. I prayed and prayed and prayed. Not my will, but thine be done. God, may your will, will be done through me. And I want to have my life reflect my trust that I place in God. We give God things he gives to us. And the third area of this is with that we expect a miracle. It says in Mark eleven twenty four, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe you receive them. Now, for me, I ask for God's will and to give me the strength to do it. Our part in this process is to ask God to see it come about. Our part in this process is to plant the seeds of faith and God will then make them grow. So often we see people, they don't care about God's will. They want what they want. They'll do what they want to do. They will try and make it happen. Well, you come to God and you say, God, not my will, but thine be done. And God, when you give me what you have for me, then I give what I have back to you. And we give God control. And we give him our time. Use me how you want to use me. And we give to God our methods. Show me how to do what you want me to do. And we give our lives back to God. And then he returns what he has for us. The fruit starts to grow. And it comes up. The fruit starts to grow. And you see the hand of God. Oh, how often since I've gone through this process have I seen the hand of God at work? And we sow in faith in God and we receive the joy that God brings into our lives as we see the miracles happen and the things that God does. We sow the seed so that we can reap the harvest. So what seed has God given to you to sow? What is it that you can give back to him? And you give to God. And you ask God to send to you an understanding of what he has for you to do in life. Not just your will, but God's will. God, help me to pray the right prayers. Help me to want the right answer to them. Help me if, to see it happen in the right time. In your way, the right way. God, your methods are always the right things for our lives. And you see that God wants to work in you. He wants to change you. He wants you to be changed from a person who just wants everything to a person who wants to reach out in faith and touch other people's lives and see them change through the power of Jesus Christ working in them. Now, I don't know what you're going through in life. I don't know if you got a physical challenge or whatever it might be, but turn to God, give it back to him. Ask him, not my will, but thine be done. And see how he works in your life. See the strength he gives you, the power he gives you. See the anointing that comes in you that will enable you to do things that in your own strength you could never do. I mean, they were telling me all the things I couldn't do. But now, all of a sudden, I find myself on a different journey. And I see doors that God opens for me to walk through and things he wants me to do to reach out in faith, but I had to put my trust in him. I had to ask Jesus into my life years ago as a child to be my savior. 
And then I saw through my journey of life all kinds of times where things were taken from me and often other things were given back to me. Things that were different than the things that had been taken, but given back to me so that I could use them to do the will of God. So that I could use them to be faithful to God and to plant seeds of faith in other people's lives. Put a seed of faith in your heart. Put your trust in God. Ask Jesus to be your Savior and forgive you of your sins and give you the strength to do the will of God. And when he does, you'll find yourself able to reach to other people and do something for them, to pray for them, to give something to help them. You will be used of God to plant seeds of faith in their lives so that they will be transformed. New creations in Christ Jesus. The old life will go away and a new life will come into you. You will have a new life. You'll have new things he wants you to do. You'll have new places he wants you to go. He will change your life and he will use you to do his will. Not my will, but thine be done. Lord, take this body and do what you need to do in it so that I can do your will. Take this body and use me to be a faithful servant of yours. Take this body and may it be used by God to plant faith in people's hearts. You can do that. You might just pray this prayer, dear God, forgive me of my failures and sins and use me to do your will. Show me what you want me to do and give me the strength to do it. And where I am weak, make me strong enough to do what you want me to do. Where I have problems, give me faith to hold on to what you have for me so that I can see my world change. I give my life to you and ask Jesus that you be my Savior. In his name I pray. Amen. Become a new creation in Christ Jesus and the old life gone. And you do what God wants you to do by his strength. And you do what he wants you to do because he shows you the steps to take. God bless you.